Okay. Are we on? I'm not entirely sure if we are. No, uh. Kind of says I'm a I am. Come on. Breathe some life, please. Come on, yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay, we are on. That's good. Okay, sorry about that. Sometimes my internet is completely narcoleptic and loves to shut off. So, okay. So, seriously, what is going to happen is I'm seriously going to go get a burger because this is going to take 20 minutes. Um, I'll be around, hopefully, like, back and forth in chat um, if there's anything we want to talk about. Otherwise, I'm going to be back and forth. So, I will see you in, like, 20 minutes. Why is this a no? Oh. Probably because of the, um, quotation mark in it. Fine. Mass, mass so run. I'm seriously going to get a burger. I'm seriously. There we go. It's all saved. Okay. I will be back, hopefully, in 20 minutes time. This is actually going quicker than I thought. Which is a good thing. So I'm already at 50% and it hasn't even been like any time. Energy level 50%. There we go. Okay. So, there's the first one. Next is between 50 and 25. It shouldn't take too long. Poison will soon shut down your nervous system, rendering you unconscious. Recommend finding an antidote to the toxin immediately. 
Okay. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay 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 here. <laughs> Really? It's that tick? I thought it was going to be the one already before it. Energy level 25%. There we go. Okay, so now we're just waiting for five, and then I can load up my last save and do the rest of the things. Yeah, with a run like this, I'm pur purposefully going for specific roadblocks um, for things. So, for instance, my run of the World Science Center is going to end because I don't have an inventory item to progress further. Come on, 5%. Appear before me. Yeah, this was not 20 minutes. So either they did something in order to speed up the energy, or something, something's good. Warning. Energy level 5%. Recommend return to TSA prior to temporal link integrity failure. There we go. Alright, awesome. Let's restore my thing, which... um. Masso, Masso run, I'm seriously going to get a burger. Didn't get a burger! So disappointed. And good, it didn't crash. Because sometimes when I load, it crashes. You are in the World Science Center in New Sydney, Australia, in the year 2310. Your mission is to prevent the assassination of the pro-alien delegate, Dr. Enrique Castillo. You are in the Molecular Biology Laboratory in Research Wing S4C of the World Science Center, New Sydney, Australia. It is essential that you first establish the poison's molecular structure before you attempt to discover an antidote. To determine the molecular structure of the poison, find a compound analyzer. Once you have used the compound analyzer to determine the molecular structure of the poison, find a compound synthesizer that will allow you to replicate the specific antidote. Your biosuit was able to filter out all but seven micrograms of the toxin. The substance is a lethal neurotoxin and must be neutralized quickly or you will perish. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm looking at. Base compound to be analyzed into the analysis chamber. Nucleonic compound analyzer SL100A. Assessing polarity. Checking for nuclear emissions. Evaluating molecular structure. Scanning polypeptide chains. Chemical complex dimahydrinate based liquid tranquilizer. Sending analysis information to molecular compositor. Okay. Nuclear Laboratories Molecular Synthesizer Interface SL100C-1 Now completing download of molecular information from Compound Analyzer Diamond Hydronate is a relaxant commonly found in sleep and health aids In combination with other drugs, its effects can be fatal It is used as a base for many different forms of tranquilizers there are antidotes known for several diamond hydronate based tranquilizers, all of which are members of the Thorazine family. God damn it.
Jeez, all I want is for this to keep a dang connection. Like, it, the only way I know that the my connection kind of drops is that everything just decides to stop working. And then, in, in like, two minutes later, the internet icon will tell me, Oh, something's up! I don't know. Anyway. Three molecules have been pre-programmed. These molecules are stable. Variations must be selected manually. In the event that an unstable compound is being created, you will have to begin again. After all three molecules have been designed, an antidote can be synthesized. Base molecule number one. Which then gives me the hint. If you imagine the shape of the structure as a group of letter-shaped objects, the compound appears to spell out O, J, I, D, C, Y. Base molecule number two. J, I, D, C, Y. Base molecule number three. There we go. Let's get not poisoned anymore. Because now I'm at 50%. Hey! Bonding additional molecules. Synthesis complete. The synthesized compound will appear in the molecular synthesizer. Energy level. 50%. Yep, I know. Let's head on over. Get our antidote. There we go. Okay. Now that we have the antidote, we can now do more hints. Close, Close examination. examination of your current view is recommended. Raise that eyebrow. Now, what we need to do is a few very specific things. One is actually getting the nitrogen canister. That's all we're getting in here. We don't get the argon canister and uh, Sinclair's key just yet. We'll come back for those. Now we'll take a nice stroll. You are in a hallway within Research Wing S4C of the World Science Center. Mm -hmm. Yep, oh right. Okay. Now we have to deal with all of the uh, guys everywhere and the biorhythms messages. Must check in at the main reception in the auditorium complex. Biorhythms of life forms detected nearby. Extreme caution advised. That just makes your forehead look bigger. Audio amplification has detected personnel in close proximity. TSA protocol number three forbids any contact with humans during a temporal restoration mission. Agent 5, you must not compromise your mission by risking contact with other humans. <laughs> Good to know, lady. Okay, so... Sinclair's office. Back down this hallway. Except we don't have his key card. Boom. Boom. It is statistically possible that a potentially useful item could be found elsewhere in this time zone. Mm-hmm. Now we can go and get it. As well as the Argon Canister. Biorhythms of life forms detected nearby. Extreme caution advised. Yep, that'll always happen. And our laboratory is just this door on the right. Yeah. Only in a run like this would you ever be going back through this door. There's really no other reason. Alright, let's pick it up. I, want, I just want it. I don't want to go through the Argon thing. 
transferring argon from canister to reservoir. Too easy for Ready to discharge argon into smart alloy chamber. Yeah, chamber. Start. Oh yeah. yeah. Argon lamp. It is now safe to retrieve your key card and disengage the argon canister. Office key card. Nice. Now we can head back to Sinclair's office and take a look at some stuff. Don't need to go this way. There we go. I was hoping to see other people go around because of different paths I was using. Go. Examination of your current inventory and biochips is recommended. Now, presumably, because they are individual hints for certain places, they also count towards the total. Is what I'm given to understand. Which is just, just great. Okay, Sinclair's office. You are in the office of Dr. Elliot Sinclair in Research Wing S4 of the World Science Center. There we go. Let's get that hint for an assault rifle. Close examination of your current view is recommended. Mm-hmm. Well, he's talking about the screen, but I want the assault rifle. Agent 5, do not disturb the current environment and possibly the current time stream without extreme cause. Also, as a TSA agent, you are forbidden to carry lethal weapons under Protocol 37. Alright, I'll put it back. Fine. Close examination of your current view is recommended. So I'm just thinking in the terms of the programming sense that every single screen that had to implement that this was going to light up, this input was going to be put here. So it's pretty much just different flags, uh, different triggers for everything. Okay, so, facing brochures. Yeah, because there isn't anything for the answering machine. Okay, that's it for the office. Other than looking at things specifically. Oh, Dr. Sinclair! Right. Aren't you speaking at the conference right now? Wait a minute, if you were speaking at the conference, you wouldn't be here! <laughs> Sometimes I just think too much. Goodbye, Dr. Sinclair, and don't eat anything toxic now. Don't think it anything toxic now. Alright, I am going this way. Time to take a look at a blasted door. Dr. Thompson, please report to conference check-in in auditorium complex. There we go. So, we can't do anything with this door because we don't have the crowbar. This door appears to be lodged shut from the inside. With an added amount of leverage, this door may be pried open. An additional item that is not in your inventory may be of use in this situation. Mm -hmm. It is statistically possible that a potentially useful item could be found in another time zone. Use the crowbar found in the Mars colony to pry open the door. Yeah, so we need to get the crowbar in order to continue on in the World Science Center. That's not going to happen right now. Uh, that's not our uh, floor plan. We're going to recall because we can't do anything else. I'm making good time. That, that energy flew by, so that makes me feel really good. So we're going to do that, and instead of going to Mars, we are going to go to NORAD. There, and let's head to NORAD and do some initial things here. You are about to travel to the underwater military installation. I might North die. <laughs> In the altered history, an unauthorized missile launch leading to a nuclear explosion over the world unification talks ends the peace conference in Gorbistan, creating a resurgence of the nuclear proliferation of the 20th century. Your mission is to restore the proper flow of history 
by stopping the missile launch from occurring. So, in the case of NORAD, because I do not have the oxygen mask, I'll probably be dying here from being gassed, but I have five things in order to do before I take out the gas canister. You are no match for me, human, but I love a challenge. Warning. Detecting trace concentrations of a sleeping gas in the atmosphere. Alright. In order to restore history, you must prevent the launch of the nuclear strike for the World Unification Talks in Gorbastan. You are in the Environmental Control Room Alpha Station of the Underwater Military Base, NORAD-6. Agent 5. You must find some method of filtering out the foreign chemical in the air, or you will soon be rendered unconscious. It is statistically possible that an oxygen mask could be found in the Norimoto Mars colony. The oxygen mask found in the Mars colony has two functions. It allows the wearer to breathe oxygen, and it utilizes a particle filter to remove all foreign elements from the air. Oh, excuse me. Okay, no big deal. So, there we go, gas. Didn't have enough time in order to make it to the gas canister, unfortunately. Alright. Can you... Let's take out the gas canister. There's not much else to do in the room because I don't have the oxygen mask. So, we're just getting this out of the way so I can quickly move on. It may be advisable to leave the gas canister in its current position. Mm, yeah, but I won't. Um, switch over to the nitrogen. Switch over there, because I have two hints. It appears that the gas released from the canister has entered the oxygen refiltration system and rendered all of NORAD-6 unconscious. There is a high probability that removing the canister will awaken NORAD personnel. Agent 5, you must not compromise your mission by risking contact with other humans. Hey, I... Oh, there we go. Nitrogen, canister, dispense, nitrogen. Boom! Alright. Uh, all right, because I still have the gas canister, I need to put it back in and then recall. So let's get ready to do that. Actually. Okay. As long as I don't get the debug menu opening up again, I'm, I'm cool. Because I don't need that. Especially when I haven't saved yet. I'm going to take advantage of that now that I'm in the Pegasus again. Let's save. Scroll down to everything. Nice run. Did, didn't get a burger. Little hungry Mars bar. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's head to Mars.
travel to the Morimoto Mars colony during the year 2185. Analysis of the compared history records indicates that there are two events that did not occur in the correct history. The Morimoto colony should not have been destroyed, and the alien ship orbiting Mars should have been able to leave undamaged. You must ensure that these events unfold properly in order to restore the correct order of events. Just departed from the East Gantry. Alrighty. Your immediate mission is to prevent the destruction of the Morimoto Mars Colony. You are on the shuttle docking gantry of the Morimoto Mars Colony. The former mining operation is being discontinued and the colony is currently being remodeled to serve as a vacation resort. We have sucked Mars dry for resources. Now, there are very certain specific things that we need to do in Mars first off, and that is... Bienvenue à la colonie Morimoto sur Mars. Nous vous souhaitons une visite formidable. Listening to some automatic messages. There's an automatic message, um, that we're gonna hear that is not done by the AI, I don't think. Welcome to the Morimoto Mars colony. Have a wonderful stay. But first, we do have to get tossed. Out of my way, human, or die. Tunnel Pod has just departed upper transport sector. Alright, first off is going this way to the ore processing machine room. Warning, there is a serious lack of oxygen beyond this door. Another direction may be advisable. Okay, so the AI does say it. Alright, that's all we need to do with the ore processing. So, before we go and get the key card, there is a very specific place that we need to go. Maintenance transport. Tunnel pod has just arrived in upper transport sector. You are in the Morimoto Mars colony. Thanks. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, inside of the tram, what we're going to do is we have some hints. Close examination of your current view is recommended. She says that slightly differently. But of course we have the crowbar, which we can now pick up. Next up is going over to the control panel here. Please insert security access card now. We don't have one. It is statistically possible that a potentially useful item could be found elsewhere in this time zone. It is statistically possible that an ID card could be found in the reception area of the colony's main entrance. Buy him. Let's go and see. We'll get more environ scans that way. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, nothing to say about the the things, the things. And All the... arriving tourists are required to check in at reception area. Please refer to gantry kiosks for maps and information on the Morimoto Mars colony. Whoa.
You can even see the guy in the prefer in the peripheral. It's just kind of laying there. You are within the reception area that leads to the main colony entrance. Okay, dokie. All right, colony entrance door. We'll get the guys doing rock paper scissors. <laughs> scan has detected colony personnel in close proximity. TSA Protocol 3 forbids any contact with humans during a temporal restoration mission. Go. Uh, there's the hint there. Agent 5, you must not compromise your mission by risking contact with other humans. Boom. Alright. Does contact mean stepping over them? Close examination mm. of your current view is recommended. Eyebrow raise. So let's pick up the keycard, yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's get out of here. And now we can do the interactive uh, sequence. We get to do this a couple times, unfortunately, because of the whole oxygen mask thing. Do well. Mars is st still definitely the most involved out of all of the time zones, without a doubt. Please insert security access card now. Will do, good sir. Caution. Portions of the maintenance transport tunnel are closed for repairs. Confirm accessible destination and clear path prior to departure. Luckily, in order to get through this on adventure mode, all we need to do is just press left once. And then we can leave the tram to do what it pleases. Because there's no death screens afterwards. Just bumping into signs and barrels. Boom. Agent 5. A strong temporal flux has been detected. Extreme caution advised. And we don't actually need to look at the reactor, so we can just go straight ahead. Close examination of your current view is recommended. Yes, yes, yes. And now we can pick up the oxygen mask. This oxygen mask is empty. It is statistically possible that an oxygen supply could be found in the underwater installation of NORAD-6. Mm hmm. All right. Which, uh, weirdly enough, we're not going to. <laughs> we get to go back to uh, the World Science Center. Because we have the crowbar. Which means that we can get a couple more um, hints. That's pretty much it. Time for lap two of our time zones. Lap two is shorter, I think. Actually, no, it won't be. Not in the long run, let's just say that.
goodbye. Agent 5, you have just been shot with a dart coated with an unknown toxin. Your vital signs are beginning to fluctuate. Luckily, I have an antidote. There we go, journeyman key is, is going away. Your bio suit was able to filter out all but seven micrograms. Now we get to have a little bit of fun because is a lethal neurotoxin I might as well keep the um, tranquilizer dart perish. in my body, even though I'm not poisoned. So I'm going to do that, and what we're just going to do is go straight for the door, because that's all we're here for. Hello, Dr. Thompson. Pick up the phone, Dr. Thompson. This door appears to be lodged shut from the inside. With an added amount of leverage, this door may be pried open. So we had three hints before, and now we have two. Both of them are new. Examination of your current inventory and biochips is recommended. Because we have the crowbar. Use the crowbar found in the Mars colony to pry open the door. And... Of course, my queen! And there's a hint here. It is statistically possible that a shielding biochip could be found in a cybernetic device in NORAD 6. A cybernetic device in NORAD 6. Well, guess where we're going to? Back to the Pegasus, and back to NORAD. Cause there's some things here in NORAD we can do. So the, the awful thing about this run is that because we are doing very item-specific hints, we have to go through great lengths of the time zones in order to get there, and then repeat all of it again in order to actually complete it. Warning. Detecting trace concentrations of a sleeping gas in the atmosphere. Okay. And what we're going to do really quickly is just take out the gas canister. Take you out. Yeah, tranquilizer dart is gone. Interesting to note. It may be advisable to leave the gas canister in its current position. Then we can take out the oxygen mask and fill it up. Fill me up. Fill me up. Now take note that I have not filled up the argon canister yet. That's actually important. We've done that. We've done the environment scan in here. We can go outside in the hallway and not get killed. You are currently in the connecting corridors of the NORAD 6 station. Sleeping gas has been introduced into the ventilation system, rendering all personnel unconscious. 
I'm surprised... I'm surprised he would have gone by now. Okay. Sure, why not? Last of them. Now I get to do this. Unequal pressure between this chamber and submarine dock. Equalize pressure before entering. Avoid maximum pressure as some objects may implode. Alright, so what? Do a really quick depressurizing. Now we get to do some weird stuff. Right, there's the screen, which now works. Uh, no nothing connected to that. We're gonna go directly to the sub before prepping it. Agent 5, you must first prepare the sub for launch. Look for a console at another location that allows access to sub preparations. Now I get to watch this. Defense sub leader, this is Def Sub 62. I've just completed a visual run of the oxygen and data line between gamma and beta sectors. No signs of cracks or pressure stresses. I am now proceeding to gamma sector one to conduct radioactivity tests on those leaky oil drums I reported this morning. Negative Def Sub, uh, NORAD 6 is under full scale red alert. Hold your position till we can figure out what's happened down there. Over. Roger that, sub control. It's like they had to loop that very tiny amount of video. You are in the control room of Alpha Station Sub Bay. From this location, the submersibles can be loaded, unloaded, and launched. In order to restore history, you must prevent the launch of the nuclear strike toward the World Unification Talks in Gorbistan. Close examination of your current view is recommended. There we go. So let's do so. If you could read this, you are too close. And now we'll do launch prep. Launch prep. Diagnostics okay. Fueling complete. Sonar check full. Torpedoes none. Warning. All personnel. Contamination detected in NORAD air ducts and ventilation system. So what we have next is going through the interactive subsequence um, because the next thing that we have to do is get all the way to the retinal scan door. There's literally nothing else that the artificial intelligence wants to say at all until then. Attack submarine. Access platform A4. Alpha Center. There we go. Prep sub for launch. Warning. All personnel. Come in. Warning.
lost communication with all sectors, and there's been an unauthorized launch from Sub Bay Alpha. Intercept bogey immediately. We have no idea what is going on. We're en route to Norad, but we're 20 clicks southwest, so you'll have no direct backup. The auto defense systems in Beta and Gamma sectors are online and will support you with torpedo fire. Alpha and Delta sectors are offline and you'll have no additional backup there. Over In the year 2112, we still do not use EMPs. Shortwave EMPs. Now, unlike Mars, I do have to pay attention to this. To make sure that I'm not dying every which way possible. Alert! Incoming torpedo! Alert! Sequence initiated. Okay, belt station. Delta station. You are standing before a damaged but secured door which leads to the Nuclear Launch Authorization Center for NORAD. There we go. So... An additional item that is not in your inventory 
may be of use in this situation. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, she looked like she had a weird An smirk on her face. An that is not in your inventory may be of use in this situation. <laughs> her eyes just decided to go to sleep. It is statistically possible that a retinal simulation biochip could be found in a cybernetic device in the World Science Center. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, that is going to be it for this run of NORAD. Oh, boy. We get to recall back, and now we get to go to Mars one more time. To Mars. Uh, waiter, butler, to Mars. Departed from the East Gantry. Bum, bum, Bienvenue à la colonie Morimoto sur Mars. Nous vous souhaitons une visite formidable. Bienvenidos à la colonia marciana Morimoto. Disfruten su visita. Have a nice visit. Morimoto Mars Colony. Visita. Have a wonderful stay. There was no way I was going to get a proper translation of anything. Out of my way, human and who will die. Tunnel Pod has just departed upper transport sector. Oh, I have to go forward. Of course I do. Going forward's important. Tunnel Pod has just arrived in upper transport sector. security access card now. Caution. Portions of the maintenance transport tunnel are closed for repairs. Confirm accessible destination and clear path prior to departure. Ba -da -ba. Temporal flux, I don't need that one anymore. Now we get to deal a little bit more with the reactor. And by a little bit, I mean like a little, little. Will do.
Tunnel Pod has just departed lower transport hint here. sector. What hint is it? It is statistically possible that an oxygen supply could be found in the underwater installation okay. of NORAD 6. That hint will just stay there. So, our next um, message is a new message that, that was in the Steam version. Which I did so off in the death videos, and now I get to show it off again. Transport tunnel currently in use. Recommend vacating the area immediately. Uh oh. oh. There we go. Turn it roadkill. Let's not do that. So Mars is technically going to be the last time zone I'm going to be finishing on this run. Because there's just so much to it. Detecting high concentrations of radioactive particles. Attempting to compensate. Success? Limited. Limited. Recommend using additional method of shielding. Or using extreme haste when interacting with this environment. Mm-hmm. It is statistically we'll be back. that a potentially useful item could be found in another time zone. It is statistically possible that a shielding biochip could be found in a cybernetic device in NORAD 6. Yeah. And this is pretty much what we're going to be ending on with Mars. We'll be back once we have finished the other two time periods. L literally. So, Pikachus. So that is it for lap two. Now for lap three, we get to head back to the World Science Center once more. Because we're at the point where we're kind of at a crossroads where we keep getting hints about the shield biochip, but we can't get a shield biochip until we deal with one of the robots. And at this point, we need to deal with the World Science Center robot because not only will we get... Because the World Science Center robot gives us the retinal biochip. I am its its So now we have a forced order on us. Agent 5, you have just been shot with a dart coated with an unknown toxin. Your vital signs are beginning to fluctuate. Mm hmm, I know that. Take away the tranquilizer. Your biosuit was oh. able to filter out. I have all a spot the for it. Okay. Of the, toxin. the substance is a lethal neurotoxin and must be neutralized quickly. Or you will perish. It'll probably be gone when I use the stun gun, anyways. Wait a minute. I'm missing something in my. Oh, nope, there it is. I'm like, where's my access card? <laughs> oh my god. Where's my exit card? No! Alright. Going back to the door, now we can get shot. Dr. Thompson, please report to conference check-in in auditorium. Conference. Dr. Thompson, where the hell are you, Dr. Thompson? Side. With an added amount of leverage, this door may be pried open. Open the babe up. Babe. Okay. Um, well, let's get shot. You 
are in the World Science Center in New Sydney, Australia. Good. All right. So there's really not a whole lot more um, in the World Science Center. There's one, two, three, four, four other things and a couple more automatic messages. So let's finish out the World Science Center. We'll be coming back here actually for one last thing, which is a little bit weird. But luckily we can. You are in the central auditorium complex of the World Science Center. Here we go. Okay, so I don't need to watch the lecture. Biorhythms of life forms detected nearby. Extreme caution advised and the hints that are associated with it. Okay, let's head to our purple door. All conference attendees must check in at the main reception in the auditorium complex. See, if we just checked in, we would have been cool. People were complimenting us on our eyepiece. Alrighty, purple door. Agent 5. A strong temporal flux has been detected. Extreme caution advised. And there won't be any hints until we deal with that. Okay. Let's head up. shows that an inert gas such as argon can destabilize a morphed object. Recommend you discharge the canister of argon onto the robot. Warning: the electrical conduit, though a possible defensive resource, once removed will cause power failure that will certainly be detected by humans in the auditorium below and could thus directly or indirectly affect history. You are in the central auditorium complex of the World Science Center. Okay, let's use the cable. We're doing non-lethal this time, or lethal this time. you proceed with the removal of the robot's biochips before initiating auto recall. Okay. Mapping, optical, and the retinal. And with that retinal, now we can finish NORAD and get a shield biochip and pick up the stun gun too. No, my access card! Dang it! I have a tranquilizer dart in my inventory. Get rid of that! On. I have to go through the dang reception again. Yeah, it's bull. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's just bullshit. Amy. Mercury. Mercury. I'm sending you to eliminate my adversary. Hello. Enrique Castillo. <laughs> thought he was doing the world such a favor, convincing them that I was insane to fear alien contact. Well, I'm not the one. I'm not the one who's inviting death into my home. The only place I can be sure of finding him is on stage at the alien contact rally eight years ago, so I'm sending you to the World Science Center in the year 2310. Try to make his death look accidental, but whether or not you succeed at that, do everything you have to. 
to ensure his demise. All right, so one resolved. Now that we have the retinal biochip, we can go to NORAD and finish it up too. Now we get to go all the way back to the retinal scanner door because there's nothing else that we need to go to. Which means going all the way back. Doing the sub chase again. You know how many times I've done it? Ugh. It's like 10 times now. You are no match for me, human. But I love a challenge. Warning. Detecting trace concentrations of a sleeping gas in the atmosphere. Huh? Yeah, I just dropped a whole lot of frames there. Oh, is it still on? My oxygen? Yep, totally still on. Cool. Uh, there's no real inventory item that I really need to have on. And I didn't fill up the argon canister because it wasn't needed. So, what do I really need to have in my inventory? Yeah, let's just keep the key card ring. Card, card key ring. Other way around. Let's do it that way. I'm coming after you. It is not a race. Even though it technically is. Unequal pressure between this chamber and submarine dock. Equalize pressure before entering. Avoid maximum pressure as some objects may implode. So, speed running is actually moving the mouse around. So you can open the door really quickly. There is a speedrun achievement for this game and getting and finishing the game in less than an hour and a half. Which you can couple with the um, minimalist achievement of getting the lowest score possible. I don't remember what my actual time is, but it's like er early hour 20s. Something like that. Alright, let's... Let's launch that up. If I were able to walk backwards in this game, I would just be doing this because I don't want to watch that dang screen again. But I have to. Defense sub leader, this is Def Sub 62. Legacy of Time definitely did a lot of quality of life stuff. Getting rid of the, having to reset the entire time zone in order to revisit it, kind of thing. Proceeding to Gamma Sector One to conduct radioactivity tests on those leaky oil drums I reported this morning. Negative, Death Sub. Uh, NORAD 6 is under full-scale red alert. Hold your position till we can figure out what's happened down there. Over. Roger that, Sub Control. Okay. Launch the sub! Launch prep. Diagnostics okay. complete. Sonar chap, full. Torpedoes, none. Warning, all personnel, contamination detected in NORAD air ducts and ventilation system. Now I actually looked at my, um... My Steam achievements to see how far along I was with the AI comments. I have six left. So somewhere in between all of these, I'm gonna be finding out what my what I'm missing is. It's gonna be it's gonna be something weird. I don't think it's anything with the final area of probably in Mars. I don't know. It'll be something weird. Commence boarding. Ready for another four and a half minutes of sub nautical action. Oh yes. 
I wonder how I'll do if I were to do this. Let's play two games at once now. So I just need one hand for the keyboard and the other one for the other thing I'm going to do. I'm actually playing Pokemon Shuffle right now. <laughs> It's interesting that they don't respond either. It's like, over? Anybody there? Nope, they're all dead too? Cool. Just listen to when alert and the sound uh, jumps. Like right there. One last input, and that's in the minefield. Warning, impact damage. Alert. Right there. Warning, impact damage. All right. Did a couple rounds of Pokemon Shuffle, and now I can go back to here because the subsequence is just about over. We can finish up Norad. And do some geography. Yay! It's really just automated automatic messages and there's two sets of hit uh, two pairs of hints. 
One that has to do with the having the retinal biochip and the other one having to do with the very end of the time zone. You are standing before a damaged but secured door which leads to the Nuclear Launch Authorization Center for NORAD. Examination of your current inventory and biochips is recommended. Now that I have it, they're very... Close examination Close. of your current view is recommended. Close, yes. Right, no biochip, let's do it. Please hold for 10 seconds for Alpha Sector Retinal ID scan. Got that. And put that back up. Two hints. Examination of your current inventory and biochips. Okay. Recommended. Close examination of your current view is recommended. Don't, don't know why I need to do that. I just need to walk forward. Red alert. Red alert. Nuclear safety. I just broke the launch code, Nuclear strike authorized. Primary target, Gorbistan. New launch silo selected. Honolulu, Hawaii. Launch to proceed in two minutes. To deactivate a missile before launch, use the trackball to move the cursor over the active silo, then touch the override button. Red alert. Red alert. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Dublin, Ireland. Launch to proceed in one minute. Fifty seconds. Alert. Red alert. Nuclear safeguards disabled. Missile launch imminent. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Addis Adeba. Ethiopia, launch to proceed in one minute, 40 seconds, silo deactivated, new launch silo selected, San Antonio, Texas, launch to proceed in one minute, 30 seconds, Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Bangkok, Thailand. Launch to proceed in one minute. Twenty seconds. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Bonn, Germany. Launch to proceed in one minute, ten seconds. Uh, on. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Seoul, Korea. Launch to proceed in one minute. Red alert. Red alert. Silo deactivated. Give up, human, or I will be forced to eliminate you. New launch silo selected. Reykjavik, Iceland. Launch to proceed in 50 seconds. Nuclear safeguards disabled. Missile launch Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Sportask, Siberia. Launch to proceed in... 40 seconds. Nuclear safeguards disabled. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Madrid, Spain. Launch to proceed in 30 seconds. Silo deactivated. Maximum deactivation allotment exceeded. All silos deactivated. 
The only good human is a dead human. Agent 5, the approaching robot has just acquired you as a target. Recommend that you find a way to overpower the hostile mech immediately. Last three AI messages, two are hints. And they have to do in here. Since the robot is blocking all escape routes, recommend that you search your present location for a mechanism that may immobilize or restrain the enemy robot. The cargo loading arm can be accessed from this room. If you can control the arm, you may be able to restrain the robot with the claws and move it to a safe location to remove its memory chips. Or I could crumple it like a can. Pop. Agent 5, recommend that you proceed with the removal of the robot's biochips before initiating auto recall. Okay. That gives me the shield biochip. There we go. Now with the shield biochip, we're not done with lap three just yet. So we've done World Science Sensor, we've done NORAD, and that leaves Mars, right? No, there is still one more hint, or still one more message that we have not um, seen yet. So we're gonna have to do an impromptu lap Sight. four, well, I am sending which is gonna be very short. The DC installation NORAD six in the year 2012, where you will disrupt the world unity talks by launching a nuclear missile towards Gorvistan. You will detonate the warhead before it touches down. That should, should suffice <laughs> to delay world unification. I can only pray that it will not also touch off a nuclear holocaust. I, I, I wish, I wish it had not come to this. But until now, it has been entirely out of my control. If the bureaucrats who scrapped the Pegasus project had instead used it in the way it was meant to be used, they would have realized that aggressors always choose the most unsuspecting victim. The Indians, the Africans, the Jews, the Swedes were all lulled into a sense of complacency before they were overpowered by their by their conquerors. Our, 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 our alien friends tell us that they come in the name of peace, a tactic used by all the worst offenders throughout history. And so I am left to do what I can to ensure that humanity itself is not the next victim. I'm sending you all back in history to rewrite our future, in which we will not offer these creatures an engraved invitation to enslave us all. And if you fail, I will be forced myself to demonstrate personally that we are not all as docile as we might seem. I know the one place in all of Sector 3 with the best view of the Capitol building. And from that place, by, by the use of a weapon of my own devising, I will assassinate the Zerolan delegate myself. If, God forbid, I should fail, one touch of 
the button. And my remote detonator will be enough to end it all. Here we go. Okay, so we have Mars left. We're going back to the World Science Center, however, because we have the shield biochip. Agent five, you have. So I have I have a tranquilizer dart in here already. Okay, so what does that mean when I got another one? That it just doesn't. Your bio suit was able to filter out all but seven micrograms of. They probably just meld together. The substance is a mm. lethal neurotoxin and Excuse must me. be neutralized quickly, or you will perish. Yep, they just meld together. Cool. Time to do it. On to dirt. Anti dirt, more like it. Alright. Back there, I need my crowbar out. How's my nitrogen? How's my nitrogen doing? Is it. Is it gone yet? Thinking back to, like, King's Quest VI with the Iceberg Dr. Lettuce. Thompson, Dr. Thompson, are you here or not? You know what? Screw it. I'm not even going to sign you in myself. This door appears <clears throat> yep, I know. I'm gonna open the door. Because the hints are the same, but this message is not. Detecting buildup of a high-energy plasma field. Recommend activation of the shield biochip. Literally all we're here for for the World Science Center. Let's head back. Alright. Nearing the end of the Masochist Run. Except now we have to get over a giant hurdle. And that is all of Mars. Um, there is a specific point of Mars which is going to be our final waiting game. Hope and hopefully it doesn't take as long as it might do. But it might! Which sucks! Still missing six messages. Wherever they may be. But put it this way, there's like 25 left. So... <laughs> So my chances are good, I'll find something. Can't believe I'm missing one has just departed six. from the East Gantry. Alright. And I biochip out. I need the key card first, so I don't have to do anything with my inventory. Stupid key card. The game knows I haven't finished Mars yet. Formidable. This might be the place where I might actually be able to do my burger. Can I do my burger game? I just want to do. Have a wonderful stay. I would say the waiting game for this achievement is dumb. But then again, I had to do about six hours of waiting in order to get all the deaths. Probably missing the AI messages um, for this particular waiting game because I did it in the reactor room. Because it wants me to wait elsewhere. That sucks. 
All arriving tourists are required to check in at reception area. Please refer to gantry kiosks for maps and information on the Morimoto Mars Colony. It's also been a while since we've done any mission uh, briefings or environ scans. Yep. I know! Plus they're clones! A thermal scan has detected colony... Colony personnel... Close. Examination. Get rid of that friggin' tranquilizer turret. God. Okay, got the access card. Now we can make our way back to the reactor. left and that's all there is to it na, 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 na. No, I don't have enough time to do that. Hmm. Hmm. Strong temporal flux has been detected. Extreme caution advised. Alright. I'm gonna make him speed up. Or not. I usually get the speed up easter egg while doing that. Instead I got his alternate voice. Tunnel pod has just departed lower transport sector. My theory is flawed! Ugh. Man, I'm disappointing myself. Okay. So there is a hint. Detecting high concentrations of radioactive particles. Attempting to compensate. Success, Success limited. limited. Recommend using additional method of shielding, or using extreme haste when interacting with this environment. So now that we have the shield biochip... Recommend that you immediately activate the shield biochip. Uh, actually that might be... Um, I'm gonna do that. Sounds like something good. Shield generator diagnostic repair platform for... How much energy does it actually save me? I do that. Compensating 19.2. Not a whole lot. Alright. Byron scan. You are in the reactor room of the colony's atmospheric shield generator. I definitely haven't heard that one before. Oh! I am missing three? Three! Recommend that you immediately cool. activate the shield biochip. I got a pop up. 
So I'm missing three messages, and I still have so many more to go. I don't get that achievement yet. First, though, it's finally time after two and a half hours to place a mastermind and get blown up. Access panel cover must be unlocked before diagnostics can be initiated. Yes. Lower, lower the diagnostics, please. In time. The metal of the panel's lock has been hyper bonded. Recommend that you find a way to weaken the lock before attempting removal. Bypassing the lock may require a combination of solutions. By first weakening the metal of the lock, it may be possible to then apply a strong leveraging force to pry it open. To weaken the bonding integrity of the lock, recommend using liquid nitrogen to make the metal brittle. Then a crowbar could be used to shatter the lock. <laughs> okay. Nitrogen, you're up. I need to move my headphones. And now we can just pop it off. Choose an operation. Alright, here we go. Please insert access card. Warning foreign object detected in access card slot. Analysis reveals time detonation device wired to explosive charge. Circuit link reveals a multi-level disarm code. To deactivate, complete the electrosynaptic connections by filling them in with the appropriate color nodes. Now accessing level one. Here we go. Please Mastermind time. Oh uh, boy. Okay. Okay, let's see. We have red, green, yellow. One node. One? Red. Okay. Red. And let's switch things yellow. around and do it super green. Simple. Zero nodes. Nope. Correct. Good. Green. Green. Uh... Red. Red. Yellow. Yellow. Three there we go. Correct. You have completed level it. Now accessing okay. level two. Yeah, level two is gonna be a pain. Blue. Yellow. Red. Two nodes. Oh correct. god. Okay. Blue. Yellow. Green. Green. One node. No. Correct. Blue. Blue. Green. Green. Red. Red. Three yeah! Three. All right, level two is you done. Completed level two. Now accessing level three. Oh boy, level three. Let's Red. start off with the simple colors. Yellow. Green. Two nodes. Ah, Red. damn it. Okay. Um. Red. Blue. Let's do red and green, and then in the middle. One node. Nope, that's correct. not correct. Then I get to the ones and I'm like, dang, it's red, yellow, blue, blue, two nodes, correct. Oh, red, yellow, purple, purple. three. Nodes. Yeah, one go. <laughs> Level three. The explosive 
Nice. Has been disarmed. It is now safe to remove the explosive device. Nice, nice, nice. Bye, SS guard. Congratulations, Agent 5. You have prevented the destruction of the colony. You must now proceed to stop the robot from attacking the orbiting alien ship. Let's get out of here. It's a hint that it's going. Recommend that you immediately activate the shield biochip. Well, I'm looking at your hints. I can't have two biochips working at the same time. Yeah, well. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so here's the deal now. Warning, there is a serious lack of oxygen beyond this door. Another direction may be advisable. Okay, so I have about like 75% energy. And I have a full tank of oxygen. So now what I gotta do is it's time for another waiting period. There are... It's probably the three that I'm actually missing, because I'm missing three now. And it has to do with the low oxygen warnings. Um, based um, with our oxygen mask, but being inside of the maze. So I'm going to save this. And depending on how long this takes, I might actually use this to actually go get a burger. Um, maze time equals maybe burger time. I want a burger, dang it. <laughs> Quest for the burger. Let's get myself a spin. Okay. It's full, it's on, it's in use. So that means that we get to... Listen to Race Against Time for a long time, and then get to sit around in the this area for a long time. So, I have no idea how long it's going to take for my energy to go down. Um, the My guide says it's going to roughly take about 30 minutes. So I'm going to mute myself, and I'll see you later.
Kitchen Supply, 50%.
oxygen supply, 25%.